Good afternoon. All the high profile violent crimes hitting the Albuquerque area may be helping gun sales. One local shop says they've seen a major uptick in sales in what's usually the slowest time of the year. Here's News 13's Chris McKee. Kim, we heard from a East Central shop. They say specifically they've heard a lot of people coming in there after the murder of Stephen Garrick. Omni Arms near Central and Wantabo typically sells about 30 guns a week in the summer. The store manager says in the week after police say Garrick was killed in his own driveway by six teens on a crime spree, Omni Arms says it sold around 50 guns. They say people who aren't coming in and buying are even asking a lot more questions too. Typically, people are looking at about a $250 to $300 purchase on the low end for a gun. The Albuquerque metro area has seen some high profile random violent crimes as of recent, including the death of Stephen Garrick, the ambush murder of Rio Rancho police officer Greg Nigel Benner, also the armed robbery and shootout that almost killed a former CNN reporter at an Albuquerque motel. Omni Arms says many people are showing up concerned about protecting themselves, but they stress that a gun also requires a lot of responsibility. If you're going to buy a gun, definitely get the training with it. Um, don't just buy a gun and go home and think that you know it all. Um, it's much better to have training behind it, and it's always a good thing to protect yourself. Guns aren't for everybody, but you know, if that's how you feel comfortable and you're trained with it, we agree with you. Now, Omni Arms says most of the interest has been in shotguns and handguns. The store also says a lot of people they've been selling to are first-time gun owners as well. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Chris. Now, Omni Arms also told us today that some of the spike in sales may be fueled by political tensions and concerns about stiffer national firearms laws in the wake of the Charleston and Chattanooga mass shootings.